Hey everyone, I'm back to tell you about a wax project that I'm working on. I've decided to go dig into my stash, pull out all of those wax scoopables and wax loaves that I have, some that I have been melting through, but some that I still have not opened, have not touched, have not even cut a chunk or slice or scooped anything out from. So I wanted to show those to you. Now, I don't have a specific timeline for this project. It was originally supposed to be my summer project, my summer wax project, but it never happened. I was involved with other things. I was busy, I was lazy, I just didn't feel like being bothered. But today I decided I really want to uh, see all of the loaves in one place see what I have in my stash and I want to have them somewhere right kind of front and center so that when I am making decisions about what I melt that I will have all of these things right there and I can pick uh, you know one or two things and include those in my nightly melts uh, and so that's what my plan is. Uh, what I'll do is I will include the empties in my Melting My Stash reviews. And then I would say maybe towards the end of the year, I'll show you where I'm at with this project. Um, show you what I'm taking into the new year so that you can see what kind of progress I've made. All right, so let me show you the wax tarts and loaves that I have in my stash. I think I got everything. I had to dig in my stash to get one of the loaves out and I was so surprised when I pulled it out of my stash. I completely forgot about it and I thought I was all out of that scent. It's, yeah, this is what happens. So the first loaf that I have is from Starlit Candles and this one is pink sugar milk. Yeah, pink sugar milk and let's start that again pink sugar milk and sugared strawberry pretzel. And I'm not gonna take this one out because the wax is very soft and as soon as my hands touch it, it starts to melt. But this is the one that had the little Hello Kitty right up on the top. I did a whole video, so it's Hello Kitty and then some stars, really cute. Um, I did another cold sniff of this one and oh, it smells so good. It's a milky, pink sugar scent. It's almost like um, condensed milk, kind of thick and rich. Really nice. I don't smell the pretzel and I'm not picking up on a strong strawberry note, but maybe a little light hint of it. This next one is from Front Porch and this is the one that I had completely forgot about. You know why? Because it was buried. It was at the bottom of my tart storage drawer. And I had put other tarts on top of it, completely forgotten about it. Thought I was all out of this scent. And this is a scent that I love. Mm. This one still smells good. That really creamy lemon note. Mmm, just cozy and warm and mouth-watering. I love this. It still smells good. Okay, I've got one back here, and this is from Ethereal Glow Candle Company. This one, let me see if I can focus. This is Dr. Pepper Pink Sugar Toasted Marshmallow. I was so excited when I got this one. I have no idea why I haven't melted it yet. Because I have too much stuff, that's why. Yeah, and I keep saying, I'm going to melt this one. i got to get started on this one. Still have not even cut a small slice. Now, I, I had this as a, um, a sample that someone had gifted to me um, so that I could try it while this was being made. And I, I liked it. This one, I smell the Dr. Pepper, but it's more like a cola scent. It's more like the note you would get with just um, a strong, like a Coca-Cola kind of scent. And then there is that creaminess, like a light hint of creaminess. Not sure about the pink sugar. So I'll see when I melt it, but it still smells good. Oh, I'm gonna focus on the loaves and then I'll go to the scoopables. So I've got one here from Tiffany Candles. And this one, 
is pink sugar and lavender vanilla chunks with rosemary mint overpour. And uh, I haven't touched this one either. I remember the whole video that I did. Excited. And look, has not been touched yet. But I'm going to get to it. And I did another cold sniff. And what I like is that the the rosemary mint is there and I can tell it's going to be strong but now I'm also picking up on the sweetness of the lavender vanilla so it's like in the time that the this one has been sitting there it's cured well the the notes have really blended together and it just kind of creates this uniform scent because sometimes when you first get things, you get more of one scent than another. But this one has really married together well from what I can tell. So I'm, I'm looking forward to melting that. I've got another one here from Tiffany Candles. And this one, you're not going to be able to read the label because it's faded. But it's birthday cake and strawberry chunks with Barbie Girl Overpour. This smelled good when I first got it. And it smells incredible now. It smells like candy like some sort of sugar coated candy it's sweet yet it's um really playful it's kind of like um a teasing a, a teaser scent it, it's it's playful it's uh, juicy i don't know it's like a lot of things but it's so good on the cold sniff and i haven't melted it yet just sitting there looking pretty <laughs> Okay, I've got another loaf here, and this one is from the Scented Princess, and um, I had taken the packaging off. I did this video once already, but I kept getting interrupted, um, so I just took the, the packaging off, but here it is. This is Banana Peppermint Vanilla Bean Noel, and this is probably maybe the oldest loaf. In fact, I think it is because I think this was the very first loaf that I ever got. So, you know, I would normally be concerned that, oh man, this is going to lose scent. But I haven't been concerned about this one because this wax is hard, hard like paraffin. I think this might be paraffin. And when I melt this, the scent just comes alive. The peppermint and the banana are so good together in this one still. So I'm not worried about this, but I do want to melt it because it's something that takes up space. And I've had it for a while now, so I want to make sure that, um, you know, I'm using it. Because I've got other stuff here that I need to use as well. Now this one back here. Hmm. I have to admit that I am hoarding this one. I, I am. I admit it. This one it smells so good. And the thing that's really um, cool about this one is that I can just sit this here on the table. It'll look pretty and it will smell up the area. Like, not smell up, but scent up the area with this really pretty um, strawberry scent. And this hint of like banana nut bread. But when it melts, oh my goodness, it takes over. The scent travels. It's so good. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is by Jamie Lauren Cupcakery and Confections and Wax. And this is Strawberry Crunch Banana Nut Bread Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh my goodness. And I've been hoarding it because I don't know if I can get more of this. Look at how it looks. Like, this looks good enough to eat. And her strawberry is so vibrant. Oh, it's just so, so good. So, yeah, I've been hoarding that one. <laughs> I'm going to take my time with that. I'm not, I'm not in any rush to melt it. Now, this one back here. Mm. <sighs> what can I say that I haven't already said? This smells so good, and I haven't melted it yet. But the reason why I haven't melted it yet is because I had a couple of chunks in my stash. But I'm just about done with those chunks, so I'm going to be cutting into this soon. This is from Sassy Girl Aroma, and this is Everything But Her Kitchen Sink. Amazing. Amazing. That's all I'm going to say. 
because once I get started talking about this, I go on and on and on, and we don't have time for that right now. <laughs> okay, um, another one that I have, it's not really a loaf, but I figured I would put it in this category. It broke, but it doesn't matter. It's still pretty. It's from Super, Super Tarts, and it's a flower tart. I could be wrong if I'm not um, saying the name of this flower correctly. I got this one a couple of months ago, so I'm really not worried about it losing scent. I'm not in a rush to melt it, but I think I am going to break off a piece tonight or tomorrow and um, try it out. This is in Fluffy Violet Candy. Mm, it smells so good on the cold sniff. Yum. So I got this. I did not do a whole video. I have been meaning to do a video to show this and something else that I received. Um, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So, all right. Okay, now on to the scoopables. So I've got a couple of scoopables from Tiffany Candles. This first one is Serendipity Splash, and I have been digging into this one. This is a scent that I really love. It's a very uh, invigorating scent, and it just it's just so nice. It's um, Serendipity with a really good amount of peppermint, and that peppermint has um, really strong, uh, cool notes to it. So I love this one. Another one that I'm really enjoying is Rosemary Mint from Tiffany Can Candles, and I have been digging into this as well. And uh, I'm not worried about either of these. I know that I will melt through them eventually. I'm not worried about them losing scent. Um, they they smell so good. So um, these are ones that I use on a consistent basis. Okay, um, more scoopables. I've got uh, a few here from Front Porch. And this one is Cotton Candy Apple. Yeah, Cotton Candy Apple. This is a scent that I love from Front Porch. It's so good. This still smells good. Really crisp candy apple scent. Um, the cotton candy notes, there's just a lot of sweetness to this. It's so good and it throws strong. Over here, another one from Front Porch. And this is a favorite as well. This is Vanilla Laundry. Love this one. Perfect for laundry day or any day. Beautiful notes to this one. Very crisp, very fresh, and a nice amount of sweetness. Okay, one more from Front Porch. And this is Back Porch. Love this. This is a wonderful scent for any time of the year. It's so crisp, that fresh linen scent. Love this. Okay, and then the last thing I was going to show is from I Heart Wax, and it's Cotton Candy Frosting Jack Frost. This is a scoopable. I've had it in my stash not for very long, and I've been melting through this one. I kept saying I was going to take it out of this container because I really don't like this container, but I left it in there. So, you know, um, but I have been using this, and I like how this melts as it is. But blending it with other things has also been very nice. It throws well, too. Okay, so that is my wax project. That's what I'm going to be working on, melting. And um, I will follow up at some point and let you guys know how I'm doing with that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.